In this video, you'll see how to simplify your Bring Your Own License or BYOL experience with dedicated host management capabilities in AWS License Manager. With these new capabilities, you can use your own licenses on Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or Amazon EC2 dedicated hosts, specify management preferences, and seamlessly launch instances on dedicated hosts. AWS License Manager provides a new BYOL experience for software licenses that require a dedicated physical server. You get the flexibility and cost-effectiveness of using your own licenses on Amazon EC2 dedicated hosts, but with the simplicity, resiliency, and elasticity of AWS. For context, let's start by reviewing how you would allocate a host manually. We'll do that from the Dedicated Hosts page in the Amazon EC2 Management Console. An Amazon EC2 dedicated host is a physical server with EC2 instance capacity fully dedicated for your use. Use the button to launch the process. Then specify all the parameters for the host, such as the instance family and instance type. While straightforward, this approach can result in some additional management overhead. For example, you need to allocate a host before launching an instance, manage host utilization level, and release a host after all instances in a host are terminated. This approach also requires planning to determine how many instances you need and allocate your dedicated hosts accordingly. AWS License Manager can make this process simpler by allowing you to launch EC2 instances on dedicated hosts on demand and track license usage just like you launch and terminate EC2 instances on shared tenancy without worrying about the management of underlying hosts. First, let's see how to create a license configuration for use with a dedicated host. Start by specifying a name. For the license type, select Cores, which is how license allocations are measured on a dedicated host. You can optionally specify the number of cores and choose whether to enforce a license limit. Next, expand the Rules section. Here you can define the tenancy for the license configuration, which lets you specify where the license can be used. Choose Dedicated Host as the rule value. Now, this license configuration can only be applied to instances that launch on dedicated hosts. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's cancel out of creating this license configuration and use the existing ones. Here we have two existing license configurations, one for Windows Server Data Center and one for SQL Server Enterprise Edition. Let's take a closer look at each, starting with the Windows Server Data Center license configuration. As you can see, this license configuration has already been associated with an Amazon Machine Image, or AMI. Now let's review the SQL Server Enterprise license configuration. Notice that one of the associated AMIs is the same AMI associated with the Windows Server license configuration. This is because that base AMI contains both Windows Server and SQL Server in the image. An instance based on the AMI will therefore consume licenses from both configurations. To properly manage licenses for dedicated hosts, you must create a host resource group in License Manager. A host resource group is a collection of dedicated hosts that you can manage as a single entity. As you launch instances, License Manager allocates the hosts and launches instances on them based on the settings that you configured. Click the Create Host Resource Group button to get started. First, specify a name for the host resource group. Next, review the management settings. By default, the host resource group will allocate, release, and recover hosts automatically. You can also choose to specify the instance families that can be launched in this host resource group. By default, all instances are supported. In this case, let's retain the default setting. Next, associate the license configurations. Select the SQL Server Enterprise and Windows Server Data Center license configurations we reviewed earlier. Click Create to finalize the host resource group. Now that you've seen how to create license configurations and a host resource group, 
Let's deploy an instance to the dedicated host. Go to the AMIs page to choose an AMI to launch. In this case, let's select the AMI that contains both Windows Server Data Center and SQL Server Enterprise Edition. Since we already have unallocated licenses for both, we can deploy this AMI to a dedicated host. Let's step through the process of launching an instance. Select an instance type. Proceed to the next step. Scroll down and review the instance details. Notice that the tenancy is already set to dedicated host per the license configurations associated with this AMI. Next, select the option to launch the instance into a host resource group, and then select the resource group we created earlier. Next, review the launch details. When we launch this instance, it will automatically be deployed to a dedicated host, even though one has not previously been allocated. This makes the process much easier to manage, since you don't need to worry about allocating dedicated hosts ahead of time and determining how many hosts you might need. Select the Acknowledgement checkbox and then launch the instance. Remember, we didn't have to allocate a dedicated host manually. EC2 took care of allocating a dedicated host and placed this instance on that host for us. Let's drill into the instance details. Here you can see that the instance is now running on the dedicated host. You can also launch EC2 instances on dedicated hosts using EC2 launch templates so that you do not have to specify launch parameters every time you launch an instance. In this example, we already have an existing launch template we can use. Let's open the Advanced Details tab. Note that the Tenancy Host Resource Group has already been specified. This will ensure that licenses will be correctly consumed from the associated license configurations. With the new BYOL experience, you can also use Auto Scaling Group for EC2 dedicated hosts. Now let's create an auto scaling group based on this launch template. AWS Auto Scaling lets you set target utilization levels for multiple resources at once, in this case, EC2 instances running on dedicated hosts associated with the host resource group. Fill out the basic information about the auto scaling group and then continue to the next step. Specify the maximum size of the group and fill in any additional scaling parameters that are needed. When you're ready, create the auto scaling group. Now let's return to License Manager to see how it tracks the instances we've launched. Here's the host resource group we created. In the License Configuration Set section, you can see the licenses consumed for Windows Server and SQL Server. In the Dedicated Hosts section, you can see the two dedicated hosts that were automatically allocated when we launched an instance based on an AMI, and when we created the Auto Scaling Group. You've just seen how to simplify your BYOL experience using dedicated host management capabilities in AWS License Manager. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.